Welcome everybody to Mr3D. Today we have a very interesting add-on known as procedural alley generator. If you are into realistic alley creation, then you might want to take a look at it, as it allows you to create alleys with a single click, along with a lot of customizations to get the result you want, without having to spend days creating alleys manually. For those who would like to explore further, the link is in the description. Additionally, if you are looking for a procedural crowd simulator to add crowds into your alleys or a sign generator, they also have those available for you. With all that being said, let's dive into Blender to see this in action. So the first thing you have to do is to go over to Edit, Preferences and install the add-on. Once you install it, just simply press N key on your keyboard and you can see we have procedural alleys panel. Click on it and the way you work with this is extremely simple and easy. So the first thing you will see is the presets of the alleys. So the general one includes the front and the sides of the alley. The front one includes front and the curved is the front curved alley and the back one is the back. So first we are going to take a look at the general one. Click on add. Now it's gonna take few seconds to load everything. And here we have our alley in just a single click. Now first thing I would like to show you is the quality of the materials and assets by going over to rendered mode. And you can see that we have very nice and realistic alley right in front of us. The materials are realistic and you can even go into this shop and look around. Isn't it awesome? And yeah, if you want to add crowds then you can use the procedural crowd simulator add-on to add crowds here. And if you also want to add realistic fog to give it an extra layer of realism, then there is an easy fog 2 add-on which is amazing. It comes with presets and uh, you just simply click and you will have a one click fog right into your scene. Now let's go back here. So the way we customize it is extremely simple too. You just simply have to select it and click this alley settings icon and you will get a bunch of different settings you can play around with. So first of all, we have the general setting, which includes the width, the floor count and the depth of the alleys and of course the size of the alleys also look realistic with the stains on the wall stairs air conditioning units some wiring and piping stuff going on here this is also realistic right now i don't have hdri on my scene i guess i have to add one right now so there is our alley right here looks pretty good and we also get a lot of customizations here so i will only go through few of these in this video because i want to make this video as short as possible while making it informative here we have front alley section which includes apartments apartment details signs ground floor street light floor power lines so on and so forth so you can add details such as the amount of curtains you want here and the details which include the clothes hanging outside the windows including these air conditioning units same thing can be said for the signs you can add signs right here you can even increase the floor of the signs and if you have a bit wider alley you can also add more if you want unique signs then you can just click on sign seed and uh, yeah you can do the same thing with the side alleys right here using the back alley settings we get elements we can control everything we want you can even add street lights to the side alleys right here so that's pretty much it for the alley section and if you want to see how this actually works then you can just split the window and go over to the geometry nodes editor and you can look here how everything works it's a lot complicated for those who don't know how geometry nodes work this is how you create alleys with a single click now i'm going to switch over to the back side of the alley for that i'm going to hide this one select the back alley and click on add now here you can see that we have the back alley right here and you can also customize this one from here you can disable or enable street lights if you want to you can control the general settings which includes the floor count the depth and the scale then you have vertical elements and you also get some piping and big dustbins including these wires connecting to other building but we don't have any other building right here so we can also turn these off right here this is how easy it is to create alleys in blender using this alley generator that's been it if you are interested in getting it i will leave the link to it in the notes down below tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up if you are new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out